Before we get into this video, let's get into this look, sis. Look at these lashes. These lashes are popping. I'm telling you, these lashes are fire. Lash Barb Cosmetics has the best lashes and the best lash line I've ever bought lashes from. So if you want some lashes like these and look at the different varieties on the website, go to LashBarbCosmetics.com. Use my discount code, Yanakai, get 20% off. You can't beat that. Yeah. Let's get into it, sis. Link is going to be in the description below. Check it out. If you want to know about me, stay tuned. small youtuber tag question and answer a lot of people in here already know who i am but there's a lot of subscribers that i don't know and you know i'm gonna just introduce you a little bit about me so um yeah someone's gonna ask me questions and i'm gonna answer them i've seen a lot of small youtuber tags and i want to do it a little different than eating in a mukbang i wanted to do it like interview style like vlad tv and genius i try to act like i'm official so yeah, we're just gonna do it that way, y'all. Just make it fun. So yeah, first question. All right, what inspired you to start making YouTube videos? So what inspired me to start making YouTube videos is basically like when I was on maternity leave a couple years ago, I just started watching YouTube videos on my spare time. You know, newborns nap a lot during the day or whatever. I should have been asleep, but I was watching a lot of Queen because she was going up with a, going through a breakup with Chris, and I was watching her and Clarence. And then it opened a new world to YouTube that I didn't know was there because before I used to just watch beauty tutorials. And then I seen there was a whole drama part. There was whole people like they had lives. They did vlogs. I didn't really know what vlogs were. I was watching pregnancy vlogs. I was watching birth and play vlogs. So when I started watching them interact and their storyline, I was like, wow, this is interesting. I would want to do it. So that's basically it. Where do you see yourself in your YouTube channel in five years? Five years? Well, hopefully I have a lot of subscribers. Um, I really don't have a goal count right now because I really don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to do this goal count because I had a goal to have 100 by January and I surpassed it. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this goals and stuff. So, you know, I hope I have a good following, people interacting, you know. I hope to have businesses in five years, you know, because I don't want to just do YouTube, but I want YouTube to open me up to the you know bigger world and to have my own business so in five years hopefully i'm established i figure out what type of content i'm trying to do and i get a good following and yeah hopefully we're growing how long have you been on youtube and have you had other channels i've never had another channel and i just got on youtube um at the end of september beginning october so i'm just fresh i'm freshly new what message are you trying to convey to your followers, to people that are subscribed to you? Well, basically at first I just, you know, I wanted to do vlogs and I think I'm branching on to do challenges, just different things. I'm trying to figure out what my following likes, you know, I'm still growing my following, so I don't know what my target market is right now, but I just wanted to show them like there is a life in Nebraska besides people think that it's not just farms and cattle, whatever. Like, I just want to show them we do have a life and I can make it look more interesting than maybe it actually is. So. Do your friends know that you do YouTube? Yeah, my friends know I do YouTube. Hopefully they subscribe. I can't see if they are or not, but I know some people told me they are, so they know. Okay. What does your username mean? basically uh, my nickname for my first name and then abbreviation for my middle name Yanakai and I just been going by that since birth and I thought it was unique um, I looked up the tag only one other person I think who out the country has it so that's why I picked it unique what's your um, 
favorite small YouTuber channel if you have one? I have one. I gotta think of her name. She always does um, small YouTuber Saturdays. I'm gonna tag her name in there. She's really cool. She supports. And also any other small YouTuber who I've met through um, different support channels, I appreciate y'all because y'all really do be showing love. Like, we gotta grow with each other, and that's all this is about, for real. What's the best thing about YouTube, in your opinion? Well, I'm new, so I really don't know everything about YouTube yet. But um, so far, I think meeting other people, like, it gives you the opportunity, just like any other social media, like, it opens you up to a whole new world of people you probably would have never met if you never would have, like, logged in to that account. So you could meet a lot of people. It gives you opportunities. Now, on the flip side of that, what's the worst thing about YouTube, in your opinion? With all these rules, they changing it. I feel like it's hard for people to get a bag. Nothing enough to say, like, period. Period. <laughs> it shouldn't be about that. But, no, I just feel like it's hard for people to come up now. There's so many people trying to do YouTube. Some, so many small YouTubers, I think, that YouTube is making it tougher for people to get big because they're tired of paying us. Like, they're not going to pay everybody. So, I think that's the toughest thing. They keep changing their rules and regulations to where, to the point, it's like, well, dang. You know, I'm just doing it for fun, but I want to get a bag, too. So... Now we kind of touched on this earlier, but we're gonna kind of touch on it again. So what is the main topic or what is the main objective of your YouTube? What is what is your YouTube about? So like I said before, I wanted it to be about vlogs, but I've gotten different, you know, opinions. People want me to do beauty, which is tough. You know, I'll have to get a camera to do that. Um, people want me to do fashion tips. I haven't forgot. I will get to that, you know, so really right now, I'm just figuring out my niche, like, I'll still do some vlogs, but I'm kind of more interested in doing challenges and collabs with people, and vlogs I'm kind of staying away from because they're kind of hard to edit, but I will continue to do vlogs, but I do think I'm going to steer towards doing different challenges and different topics because I do like talking about topics. Now, would you collab with anybody? And if so... Who would it be? Well, I have collabed with Kita Cantu, uh, another YouTuber locally, and I do plan on uh, collabing with other YouTubers locally. Big YouTubers, hopefully one day. There's one I do message a lot. It's Essie. She does respond to me a lot. I don't know if she would want to collab with me because I'm little, you know. They don't want to be a cloud chaser. But I hope to plan with more. If I ever go to VidCon, I think VidCon would be good for me. But I got to get over my plane anxiety a lot. I'm scared. So what are three things that your subscribers should know about you and even your future um, subscribers? What should they know about you? Three things. One, I try to keep the positivity. You know, I can be negative sometimes, but I try to keep the positivity. Um, two, I'm very goofy. You know, if you see me being serious, cause I'm nervous, I don't know what to do in front of the camera. You know, think about being in front of the camera. I don't know how people are gonna perceive me. Um, and three, I'm loving and caring, you know. I like to interact with people. It don't matter how many subscribers I have. Comment below, I will interact with you. But this is a fun channel. I want it to be an interactive channel and I want people to get involved. Do you see yourself being on YouTube for a long time? I mean, if it works out for me, I would love to do YouTube for a long time. Even if I own multiple businesses, this would still be a good platform to have fun with. Like definitely want to be on here, but I don't want this to be my only source of income if I ever get to that point. And last but not least, what is the hardest thing about being a YouTuber? Well, I'm literally still figuring it out. But I think the hardest thing is to get people to watch your stuff. You know, it's hard to get subscribers. But you could have, you know, 300 subscribers. You post a video, you get 60 views. You know, you got to promote, promote, promote. Because YouTube algorithm is not promoting you. So I think it's the hardest to get views. Because people don't know why they should watch your stuff or sometimes you don't have time or it's too long they don't want to watch it and people don't take you seriously people think you're just out here making videos for fun they just think oh she's just doing that you know no it takes time and effort to sit in front of the camera and then edit people don't think about that so i think the hardest part is to get people to view your stuff to see your stuff that's the hardest oh that's it that's, that's all we got it. Well, thank you, interviewer. You were just like the best. You, I mean, let's, you know, let's clap for him. He was awesome.
but um thank you guys for watching but remember if you're new press that subscribe button turn those post notifications on like this video share this video if you want to know more about me um definitely ask some questions in the comments i will answer them uh follow my social medias because that's where i post when i'm gonna post a video usually in my um snapchat and my instagram i don't have a twitter but i'm thinking about making one just for my youtube so i appreciate everybody and the people who've been rocking with me since day one i appreciate y'all for sure so we're gonna keep going up from here and yeah that's it so i hope y'all have a great day great weekend whatever you're watching this bye